In this video we are going to make a complete selection of one of our booster set series. Let's enter in Xylect with our account. There are three different ways we could use for our selection, the final results will be the same in any case. Let's try the one by product type. Once the new page is open we should click on booster sets and then flag the GHV series, which is one of our variable speed pressure booster sets. We then modify the nature of system clicking on single multi-pump set. We now define the duty point in the following strings keeping in mind that, the flow will be the total flow accordingly to the number of pumps needed, and not the one for the single pump. We then choose the range number of the needed pumps for this specific selection. This means that if the range of pumps is from 2 to 4 Xylet will then make a search in the list of booster with 2, 3 or 4 pumps. If for example we need a booster with just 3 pumps, the range will be from 3 to 3. Clicking on the search the program will select a group of pressure boosters accordingly to the given input. The result is a screen with many boosters, selected by the program accordingly to the given input. In the center of the screen there is a graph which defines the working area of the selected product. Let's click on search option to see another way for configuring our booster set. We are now going to show you what happens if we insert a standby pump in our selection. First of all we define the same duty point we used before. Secondly we click in this drop down menu to add a standby pump to our booster set. Automatically the program changes the range of the available working pumps accordingly to our previous action. This means that if before, without the standby pump, the number of pump range was up to 4, right now the maximum number is 3 since the fourth pump will be the standby one. Clicking on the search, Xylet will change the proposal of pumps accordingly to the new given input. Has anything changed? Yes it has, even if the graph is exactly the same as before. Now our booster set is a GHV40, composed by 4 pumps, instead of GHV30, composed by 3 pumps. This is because the standby pump is not shown in the graph of the performance curves. In fact, unlike the others, the standby pump works only in specific and particular situations. This is the button for the variable frequency driver. With this option you can see on the screen the different curves in which the pumps can work according to different frequencies of the motor. On the right side of the screen we have a series of standard options with all the possible configurations of our booster set, all linked each other. At the moment they are set as standard configuration, but we can select other option, clicking on the drop down. For example, if we select no suction manifold some items are automatically going to disappear from the possible configurations. Xylect hides entries that are not compatible with the selected options to avoid mistakes from the user side. On the left you will find other information regarding the product, the dimensional drawings and the respective dimensions, a depth description of the booster, A depth description of the materials. Motor data. 
the data is sheet. When available 2D drawings. We can also have other information consulting the PDF attachments. Now, if the product is right configured for our use we click on finish button. We then return in the home page and in the center of the screen there is our project. We may want to make final changes to our selection mic. Modifying the configuration of the selected pump clicking in this icon. Or editing the number of the items just clicking on this button. It's also possible to save our project and complete it later, this option is available only for registered users. We're going to deeply explain this feature in a future video. To complete our selection we may want to add other information about ourselves. Finally we can share the project to other users if we know their username. Then, clicking on print, we can decide which curve to show in the graph of the performance curve and which page of the data sheet we would like to print. Our selection is complete. Thank you for your attention. For any request of assistance please contact us at our email address xylic.aws at xyleminc.com. Sincerely, the Xyluk team.